Right off the top tonight, the man accused of hitting and killing a woman in a Walmart parking lot near Kalamazoo Tuesday may have tried to do the same thing in Battle Creek. News 8's Byron Tollefson has the latest tonight. Investigators believe the man accused of hitting and killing 65-year-old Sandy Villarreal at an Oshtemo Walmart on Tuesday also tried to hit people at a Battle Creek Mire. This happened on Monday morning at the Mire on West Columbia Avenue in Battle Creek, the day before the tragedy at the Oshtemo Walmart. Monday morning, Shelly Hewitt was with her husband in the pharmacy pickup line outside the Battle Creek Mire. She says she saw a man with short hair and wearing a baseball cap in a maroon sedan parked nearby. My husband's like, okay, maybe just somebody waiting to get in line. And we sat there for a second, and all of a sudden, he started rubbing his engine really high and just shot off like a rocket. She says the driver swerved past her vehicle and drove straight toward a woman walking out of the store. Shelly says the woman just barely got out of the way. The first woman he got within an inch, she just, I mean, we, you couldn't hardly see air between her in the car. Shelly says after missing the first woman, the driver continued targeting other people. She estimates five in total, but didn't hit anyone. And he went down the aisle, um, going back and forth, swerving towards people, didn't get anybody else, and he got to the end of the line and turned around like he was coming back. Shelly says the driver then took off away from the store, leaving her and her husband in disbelief. I know I was screaming at the woman on 911, so it, I just couldn't believe it. There was no doubt in her mind the driver was intentionally trying to hit people. And this was not somebody out of control with their car. This was somebody intentionally going towards people, trying to get them. A Battle Creek police sergeant tells News 8 that when they investigated Monday's incident at the Meyer, witnesses could not get the driver's license plate. On top of that, surveillance video did not capture the incident. The next day, a driver hit and killed 65-year-old Sandy Villarreal in the Oshtemo Walmart parking lot. Investigators say the driver was 37-year-old Juan Vo driving a maroon sedan. He allegedly told investigators he was angry and missed his ex-girlfriend and decided to kill someone with his vehicle. The Kalamazoo County Undersheriff tells News 8 they believe Vo was involved in the Battle Creek incident, but cannot confirm that amid the active prosecution against Vo in the ongoing investigation. Shelley has no doubts Vo was the driver in both attacks. We're, we're sure that this was the same person. Could we have stopped this from happening? She wishes she got close enough to see the driver's license plate. We feel helpless. We feel like we're as guilty as this guy because we couldn't do anything. In Battle Creek, Byron Tollefson, News 8.